launching these NAPRA Fusion events. And what is NAPRA Fusion? NAPRA Fusion is a term that we came up with in the naturopathic community. When you think of fusion, what are you thinking of? You're thinking of connecting things, something that's going to join together, fusing. So NAPRA Fusion is fusing naturopaths, naturopathic medicine, with other alternative, complementary, allopathic, we're fused together because we are connecting knowledge, care, and wellness. That is the point. Now, NAPRA Fusion is, of course, a health fair and a naturopathic pop-up clinic. And this is hosted through the NCNM U Health and NCNM University. And that's located on the north side. Our headquarters are on 3330 North Milwaukee in Chicago. You can find us online at www.ncnmu.com. So that's an introduction of what and why we have these events. We're connecting care, knowledge, and wellness. And that's NAPRA Fusion. So thank you guys for tuning in again for another NAPRA Fusion event. Today's event is focused on fitness. The first event, we talked about detoxification, we talked about nutrition, we talked about diet, we talked about the importance of cleansing your system. You want to start over with a new fresh slate. The next Snapper Fusion, we talked about supplements. We talked about antioxidants, micronutrients, micronutrients, and the way that we're going in these events is a stepwise approach to the fitness portion of this because all of it is about wellness. But when we think about that industry, the supplement industry, you know, I had a conversation uh, with a colleague and I was saying that I find it so interesting and, and this is me just remembering my days when I was actively dispensing as a pharmacist. Most who know me already know that my first medical discipline is in pharmacy. I'm a doctor of pharmacy. I still practice as a consulting pharmacy. I'm not a pharmacist. I'm not in the dispensing role at this moment, but I do teach at the University Pharmacology for Complementary Medicine and I also consult. And so these type of events are very helpful uh, to, con again, connecting that knowledge. But again, I was talking with a colleague, and I said, you know, when it comes to vitamins and supplements, you find it where people, when you say, hey, why don't you try this supplement? It's vitamin so-and-so-and-so, -and -so -and -so, right? And a person go, well, you know, I just don't take anything. You know, I'm real careful about what I put in my body. And, and I went, hmm, that is interesting, because people don't hesitate to take drugs. Even though there's like a list that can run all the way to Canada of the side effects, including death, it says it there, it says it. So anytime we pop a pill, we are taking a known and conscious risk. Now, is it going to do the thing that it says that it's gonna do? Is it gonna do the thing that it's FDA approved to do? Yes, it is. They spend a lot of money to make sure, and there are several phases of clinical trials to make sure that that pill does what it says it's gonna do. But it's not natural, it's synthetic, so it's gonna throw off some other systems in the body, and then that's where we get that side effect profile. But I can't tell you how people have no hesitation to take that medication but when you offer them a supplement, something that is just a vitamin, something that is naturally occurring in their body and utilizing, that's when you get that, well, now everybody has some type of medical degree credentials behind their name. Now they're skeptical. Now they're like, well, I don't know. And it's mind boggling to me because I'm like, well, do you know that that's part of biology? It's part of chemistry, biochemistry organic chemistry, these chemical reactions are happening in the body anyway. You need these. Vitamin C needs vitamin E. And then when you think of the B complex vitamins, you can't just take one because some help to activate another one. There are catalysts and another reaction down the line there. And all of this is happening, happening intracellularly. So when we started with talking about detox and cleansing your cells, we want you to cleanse your body. Because if you've been living your whole life and you have not cleansed your body, then now how are you going to properly absorb nutrients? There is a lot of people that take, they have tons and tons and tons of supplements, just the way that they may have tons and tons of medication bottles. 
but nothing's getting absorbed. Why? Because the gastrointestinal tract is compromised. So that's why we want you to detox. Clean it out so that you got a clean, fresh slate. Think of a dirty fish tank. And you see all that grit and grit inside of the water. It's dirty. You can see the waste product and that. Well, that's what's happening inside of your body. And that's why we're trying to put the emphasis on cleansing yourselves internally because we're only conscious about cleansing ourselves externally. So we want you to cleanse yourself through a detox. Then you know that's synonymous to a fast. Basically, what you're doing is you're going to abstain from food, you're going to stop. Give your digestive tract a rest. Give it a moment and let it cleanse out those things. The main detoxifying organ of the body is the liver. It's overtaxed. It's working harder and harder and harder and harder. And now everybody is starting to have liver issues, especially women. You're, they're noticing they're getting fatty livers. That's what we're Detox, that's the main detoxifying organ of the body. You need your liver. And so that's why we started off talking about detox and we reiterate that. You will always hear us do a replay to reinforce that information. So the next nap perfusion, we talked about antioxidants, which are a part of micronutrients and other supplements that you take. And we talked about it in a way we brought it as ageless beauty. You know, I thought that was a really clever title for it. But yes, antioxidants are essential because what they do is they neutralize free radicals in a body. What are those? Well, those are things that are precursors to cancers and tumorous growths abnormal growths and we all have abnormal growths every single day it's just nature that's just the way it is we come into contact with all kinds of microorganisms we come into contact with bacteria viruses we can't help that we live in a world where all of this exists so how is it that you're able to move through life and not be affected as much by all of this well it's because of your immune system you're coming into contact with all this stuff anyway, but it's your immune system which is your defense against those things. If you remember the movie The Matrix, remember the machines? Every time they hacked into the, <laughs> the Matrix, the machines came and it, their main job was seek and destroy. That is what your T cells are for your white blood cells. That's the point of it. But they are overtaxed because of our diet, we're constantly activating that immune system because we eat things that are not agreeable with us. And every time we eat that thing, we activate the immune system. The immune system response through the inflammatory response. Inflammation. You take something, that nose starts running, your ears and stuff, your throat is itching, you, yeah, you just ate something and it made you do that. But we don't think that. A lot of times, what are we going to do? We're going to go get some Claritin, some Allegra. We're going to go and ignore that thing. Your body just gave you an alarm. It just told you. You just ate something, and I coughed. I sneezed. Those are your first lines of defense before those, you know, those white blood cells even come into play. So imagine for 50 years, 30 years, 40 years of your life, and you're constantly introducing that thing to your body that your immune system is responding to and is activating. Now you have chronic inflammation. And that's what most of the ailments that we deal with and we see in society comes from. Chronic inflammation. The system never turned off. So now do we have a new category, autoimmune disorders. Your immune system is attacking the body. Well, why is it doing that? It never turned off because we keep inflicting this. It's self-inflicted. It's called systemic inflammation. So diet is something we have to keep revisiting that conversation. We gotta go back to diet. And it's, sometimes it's gonna just take us to just, you know, do a little adulting, some maturity, a little discipline, and just not eat that thing so that we can increase our immune system our health, and ultimately our quality of life. Because the next thing that you're going to experience, you're going to experience pain. That's coming. Because with inflammation and prolonged inflammation, you're going to experience some pain. Everyone does. From the mechanic to the bus driver to the medical doctor to the executive in the high top floor offices. 
everyone is going to experience some pain. And the thing is, we just had COVID. COVID introduced another layer to this sedentary, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, pain where people are experiencing it from sitting and being sedentary. We're not supposed to be still at it. We are moving beings and movement is life. So we're supposed to move. And so it's only fitting that fitness in a box comes now because now that we've talked to you about diet and nutrition, we've talked to you about vitamins, supplements, uh, the, um, you know, particularly the antioxidants, you know, we're going to have replays of those things. So make sure that you bookmark the NCNM UDTV channel so that you can see when we do the replays of each one of those natural fusions. So now we're going to get into fitness in a box. And as you can see, I'm ready. I'm participating too. I learned this. I was introduced to this system about a year ago from Dr. Lawrence Gabbard. He's a chiropractor. He used to practice in Elgin. He's in Wisconsin now, and, um, and I think that he's following up with some other endeavors. So we definitely thank him for introducing us to this system. This is a system, a workout system, where in a few minutes, in a few minutes, we can give you the equivalent of a 90-minute workout just by using these balls you see behind me and a few positions that we're going to have you hold for 30 seconds minimally. I know you're thinking, what? I felt the same way. You know, I'm always skeptical about things when they come to me. I'm like, really? It wasn't until I tried it myself and realized I started getting hot and I hadn't even moved my arms and legs. I was sitting in a chair, just flexing my muscles, holding balls in different positions, and I felt it. And so today we have some people that are going to volunteer. While you all saw some of our previews from the last uh, NAPRA fusions, we had a few volunteers that are here today that offered up. So what we did is we took an oximeter and we measured their P2, uh, O2 saturation. And we also were able to see, it's almost, it looks similar to what an EKG will look like, uh, what we're looking for. So what we did for those people is that we got their information. So we have a before. And so we gave them supplement, a uh, sample of the supplement. We're going to put them in these positions. And myself and another colleague that's here, you'll see us demonstrate those because you really want to make sure that you're doing it correctly and that you have instruction. You don't want to do a movement wrong because then that can cause an injury, which is okay because see now you all know NAPRA pass. So if you do injure yourself, you know where to come <laughs> to help so that we can help get you out of pain and get you back rehabilitated. So we're going to do a few positions. So I'm going to ask Juanita to come to join. And so we're going to, we can move these um, out of the way and just get a chair. Uh, I hope we're still in the right frame here. And so we have our lovely timer. And so we're going to do a beginner move because that's what we're going to expect most of you to do. Beginner moves, 30 seconds. Now, when it starts getting to 45 seconds and 60 seconds, those are a little further along the line. And you may feel like you can do it, and you will be able to do it. I'm not going to say that you can't. But it's the same dynamic that when you go work out for the first time and you had in a long time, and you go at it hard, and you're like, oh, I can go another hour. The next day is when you pay for it. That's why we're going to just start off with the 30 seconds, because trust me, you will feel something when you're doing this. And so we're going to try to, um, what we're going to demonstrate for you all, we don't expect you to perform this, because you really should be under our supervision so that we can make sure that you have yourselves in proper positions, okay? And so uh, is this a good, maybe you need to be where I am. Okay. And so we're going to do a first beginning. Is this enough phone for you? Okay. I'll put this on the timer. And I'll remember 30 seconds. Oh, you just press it. I've got a 30 seconds. Okay, which one? Start, start, start. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So this is one of the beginning moves that we do with this. All right. And so the whole point of the system, total flex, flex everything. So we're going to have... Uh, Ms. Juanita here, she is going to point her toes up, so we're going into flexion. She is going to contract the abdomen. We need to move her back about a foot. About a foot, okay. About a foot, maybe two feet, maybe to the edge of the carpet. Okay, here? Maybe, no, no, the front end, the front end. Front end? 
Yeah, right there. Okay. Okay, we're working, working it out. Working it out. Okay. So, so we got our timer here, 30 seconds. Sit on the edge of the table, of the chair, yes. so you don't want to sit yes, this way. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Okay. So Flex you your foot, heels. Yes, toes pointed up. Okay. She's going to squeeze the ball here because she doesn't want this to fall. Okay. Then she's going to take the second ball and then she's going to press down on it. For, and she's going to flex everything for 30 seconds. So we're going to start that first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flex your mm -hmm. feet up. Mm -hmm. Heels are down. Holding the ball, the ball between the squeezing. knees and squeezing. Okay. Second, Second ball, ball on top. Ball directly on top. We're applying pressure. Not and enough to push it, but it just down. enough to, you know, to give some resistance, right? Exactly. Okay. That. And then she's also flexing her abdomen. Be sure that you're do, you know, that's a very key part because a lot comes from the core. All right, so we're going to do 30 seconds. As you can see, every yeah. single mm -hmm. muscle is flexing. Every muscle, it's been, everything is firing right now. And I remember the first time I did it. Okay. I started shaking. <laughs> <laughs> everything was flexing at the same time. You know, so. <laughs> okay. Flex that stomach. And you're going to press down, squeeze, and keep everything up. And 30 seconds. So again, she is flexing everything. The abdomen, she got the toes pointed up. She's squeezing the ball with the knee, uh, that's between her knees, the ball that's on top of there. She's applying pressure for the resistance and trying to keep all of that together in a flexed position. This is certainly something that warms you up. You're gonna feel warm. You're gonna feel a little shake, then movement. Okay, 30 seconds. And if you would mind, thinking right now. <laughs> I don't want this ball to fall. And oh my god, everything is shaking. You know, so yeah, remembering that we're contracting the core. Okay. How was it? Good. Good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. I could feel it in my bicep though. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> now again, <laughs> with adding movement, as I was saying, she's now recruited other muscles along with it. Okay, so we'll have you do a little bit of an intermediate move with the shoulder. So we're going to put one on one shoulder. You're going to leave that there. Okay, like so. You're going to hold that here. Okay. Everything is still the same. We're still flexing up point. Toes up, squeezing, and this you're pressing bringing in. Because, because of the air inside of the balls, the resistance in there, now she has something that's pushing back. And you're same thing. Flex everything, squeeze, and press into those shoulders with it. Like hugging those balls. Yes. <laughs> this is a workout. Believe it or not, this is working out. Because we are stimulating the muscles in four different ways. So it's not like when you're going to the gym and you're moving in just that one, like if we were to take the biceps curl, for example, or you're on the muscle, off the muscle. On the muscle, off the muscle. No, no, no. What we're doing here. Great job. Great job. Now, what's the benefit is this? You know, if someone is, uh, where maybe you're not able to move, you can still stimulate the proprioceptor system within the body, the microcirculation, getting things going and flowing, and you weren't moving your arms and legs around. Okay, and so we use this. Okay, we're gonna oh, do the, the other one. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, all right, let's do this. And 30. Okay, press them down on those. There it is. Our 370 year olds. Yeah. Oh, yes, our audience. But where are you, young people? These people are in their 70s. Okay, these are super seniors here. Okay, they're doing this. 
So young people, we know you can get out here and do this. <laughs> Thirty seconds! Yay! How do you feel? <laughs> yes, you can feel it. And so, after a couple more um, positions, we will redo your oximetry readers. She and said she was able to feel all the way to the back of her shoulders. Wow! Wow! Oh, okay. 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 All right. I'm going to give him another. Uh, We're going to give him one more. Okay. One more okay. position. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go off camera and help him with some uh, other things. But we're glad you guys are joining us to see Fitness in a Box. We're going to host this again. Outside the leg. Okay. Outside of the leg. Outside okay. of the knees. So, why not try it? You're going to bring it to a knees touch? Mm -hmm. No. You're going to pull it off. Yes. You're pulling. Yes. So, these legs are wanting to go out. And then the balls are wanting to come in. Okay. Okay. Come on, let's see here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Let's be ready. Stop. Thirty seconds and now. Okay. Okay. You're pulling apart. This is what we call a deduction. Okay. It's moving away from the center, and you're pressing those balls That's to good, good. for a resistance. Good, good, good. Yes, mm -hmm. for That is under 70 up here, okay? <laughs> Ellie, uh, we're going to have you come on up and you're going to have you try it with the ball. Move the edge, okay? <laughs> yeah, no. this timer. <laughs> keep pressing, keep pressing, toes up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good job. Yay. He's going to come back and yes, he's going to come on back. these balls. So we're going to do, we're going to let Dr. Juanita show one of our advanced movies. She's going to lay on it. So what's happening? Go ahead. Go uh oh. Ahead. No, go uh, ahead. So we're going to do, you know, because again, these levels go up. Those are beginner levels. We work with you th uh, two to three times a week with that. How long is that going to take you total? Maybe 30 minutes. We put you in a few of those positions, and you will feel it. So how do you all feel? Do you feel to? But when I come back, I'm going to be superwoman on these balls. All right. Now, okay. now this exercise, I do it at home, and then I have a grandson that's four and the granddaughter who is 10, and then they take a turn. Lita, can I do it too? Mm -hmm. So this is their favorite position. Okay. Can, so can you slide it forward if you're going yes. to okay. the whole thing come? Slowly, slowly, right there. Right there. Okay, that's good. That, yeah, that's perfect. perfect. Okay. okay. That's perfect. So, so with this one, we're going to do the forward position, and the idea is that your body is going to be flexing every single muscle as you lay on the balls. And the more it moves, the better it is because you're flexing. So, What's that position called? This one is just one Super of the laying down positions. So here Super we woman. go. Are we ready? <laughs> I will. Okay, oh, no, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Okay. I, I, I got you. I got you. Okay. So okay. here we are. Here we are. And I'll. That's the superwoman. All right. The superwoman. It's a superwoman. <laughs> there she is. 30 seconds. 
A minute is usually the time. No, the timer isn't mine. Yep. That's 30 seconds. That is 30 seconds. On the first ball, yes. And then Fernanda will do both. Oh, oh, you do it? You're trying? Okay, okay great. So great. You will sit on the first ball and slowly come back. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Should I? Let me move it that way. Yeah, because you need your. Okay, right there. Ah, a little bit more. So that your legs can, you know, because you're going to. Okay. 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 So you're going to sit on the first ball. You're going to come back down. And lay right there. All right. Now she's only doing 30 seconds, but this is something that's typically 60. Which is what I usually do. Yeah, so this is nothing uh, for her. But what's happening is that there's a constant struggle, a constant fight of maintaining balance. And of course, the reason we're doing it on these balls is because there's a little micro movement there, so you don't get comfortable. Things are just too easy for us. We walk outside, the floor, the ground is flat. There's no stimulation here. It's easy. Yay! Come on, Fernanda. Okay. I have no core strength, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> and you actually, what would you like to do? The Superwoman? She'll do both. She'll do both. Okay. Oh, Superwoman. Okay. Superwoman. Superwoman. Okay. So just lay on top of it. Mm -hmm. Like, yes. Like yeah. that. All right. And then those arms and legs go out. And 30 Super seconds. Great. So you're just keeping yourself balanced on the boss. And that's what the struggle is. She's trying to maintain balance. And whenever you think you're comfortable, that micro movement movement, you're like, oh my goodness, I got to get back on balance. So the arms are stretched to the front, not to the side? Mm -hmm. Right. It just depends. I know for me, I was out to the side because it just depends on how a person is balanced using, you know, the How was it? Um, it was good. Yeah. 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 It was kind of hard because I had to keep doing this to stay right in the middle. Exactly. But, exactly. But and it, it becomes doesn't. easier. It does become easier. Yeah. I don't think I could do it for a minute. <laughs> you will. Well, you will. Practice, you will. You will. practice, you will. Because muscles have memory. <laughs> Good? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. And head back. Head back. There you go. Oh, my God. This one is strong. Okay. 30 seconds off. Yeah, I'm doing my hands. Just, just, just yeah. Flow. Just help yourself balance. The point is just you're staying on the ball. <laughs> yeah. Easy movements. So easy, easy movements. <laughs> maximum <laughs> stimulation. Maximum here. Thirty seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds. Yay. Oh my God, <laughs> Thank you for volunteering. Thank you. Thank okay, you. We'll just show you the super advanced one. Do not do it at home. Do not do it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Squeezing, holding, balancing. 30 seconds. And this is more of the advanced moves, and it goes beyond that where you're doing even more. And you see that proprioceptors, all the muscles. Everything's flexing. Fi everything's flexed, everything's firing. Maximum stimulation. Anybody else want to try it? Yeah, <laughs> Fernanda will want to do this one. We'll, we'll be here with you. Whoa, that was fast. <laughs> well, you're used to it. Me, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it right. double, triple. <laughs> this one is my favorite, yeah. actually. And then Dr. Gabbard will oh, do oh, one oh, here. One right, there. there's a way to do it. Like, well, you know, he would just be standing on it with both of them. And it's, yes. Fernanda? 
You care? Take off your shoes. <laughs> system, the white meat of the body. Uh, it is blood. It is lymph. Uh, so it is all of those things, okay? And of course, the treatments and the things that we do, it affects all tissues of the body, whether it's nervous tissue, muscle tissue, bone tissue, even though it's a hardened tissue, it is still a tissue at its core. So we are affecting all tissues of the body to get you aligned, to get things working properly, make sure things are functional. We're working with you on your diet to make sure that you have great nutrients and oxygen flow that goes to those tissues because those are two very important things that are carried in the blood the nutrients and the oxygen that goes out to all of the tissues. And usually if one or more of those things are deficient or not there, then you will probably get a, a pain signal from the central nervous system. Something's not right. And of course, if there is any type of damage to the tissue, obviously, uh, you're gonna uh, feel the uh, pain. And so I, we have a napropath that is here with us. And before we end it, can I just uh, close on this? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so remember, you might be saying, well, where can I get this? Where do I begin? What you do is you contact, you take a look at the, uh, the information below, and you're going to be able to find all the information on how you can do this. We have a video system. We actually have the first basic steps where you could begin as a basic where you can get your equipment and where you can get all the other information. We'll send you the information on Dr. Gabbard so that you know all the theory behind it. Yes. And this way you can get started with the basic. We do not want you to jump into the advanced. You're going to do the basic for about four weeks at least and then jump into the, we have a, a intermediate, a intermediate and then you can do the advanced is the one where you stand on the balls. And so with that one, you definitely need a lot more information and how to do it. And then you'll need your rings. So please do not hesitate. Get started because remember, working up a sweat is the best way to balance the hormones. Remember that cortisol level is there because we have so much stress in our lives. And so one of the ways that you could eliminate getting rid of that cortisol is work up a sweat. And here we did it. You were able to see it in just 30 seconds. Imagine as you work up to a minute, 60 seconds. It's amazing. So do not hesitate. Try it. Get started. And we're here to help you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. And I'm glad you mentioned that because... Um, we also have this as a certification program through NCNM University for professionals that want to work with their patients when you're working with them to rehabilitate them, to get them back 
to wellness. Uh, this is something that we're offering as a course for you to take and not just for yourselves to do, but to help to instruct uh, people. So we show you how to do that as well. You'll find all of that information on the website. Again, www.ncnmu.com under MVP, MVP program, MVP standing for microvascular professional. And again, just a certification program because that is what this system is doing. It is working on microcirculation because so much emphasis is on the bigger circulation of it. But what about the microcirculation? And we find that that is the things because when you think about the proprioceptor system. You know, so that's something you can sign up for courses for to learn a little bit more about that. But just to do the exercise program, it will be a world of help for you. Uh, so we will come back. With fitness in a box, we're going to come back with that as more people uh, learn about it and want to join us. And then we'll do some classes with people and introduce them to the supplements and things because uh, this is another important thing. Once you start working those muscles and you're building the muscles, and you got to feed the muscles. So what are you going to feed it? So everything, all roads always lead back to that nutrition conversation where you're eating, the supplements to help you to supplement your diet. It's not there to replace the things that you're eating in your diet, but just to supplement it. And so, um, again, thank you guys for tuning in for this week's Snap Refusion. We will be back. Just make sure that you like and follow our pages. We are NCNMU1908 on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter which is now called X, LinkedIn, and Dr. Mary. Oh, Dr. Mary.